What's going on, you guys? So, like I said, I got I got a job now, and I'm working at the shop with my dad. We got a 2011 Silverado Z71. We're doing all the major flushes on it. Doing a transmission flush with the machine right here. I'll show you later on how, how we're going to do that. We got a power steering flush machine that's right here. Later on, I'll show you how to do that. And then we have a brake flush machine right there. And like I said, we'll do that a little bit later on. But right now, we're doing an oil change on it. We're doing diff services on it. We're changing out the fluid and everything in the front and rear diff. Also doing a fluid service on the transfer case and a transmission. So right now, I'm, I am doing the oil change and I am getting the fluids out of the out of the disc and then we're going to change them out, clean it out and everything. So if you give me a little bit, I'll bring you right back and I'll show you everything that you're going to need. But for the oil change, it's just a 15 millimeter wrench or socket, take off the oil plug and it's an M48 filtering with a filter wrench to get the filter off. These Silverados and everything on these GMs are pretty freaking easy to do. Everything's right here. It's not like they're anywhere special or anything. Like I said, the plug is right there on these. That's a little bit of oil from where I already drained it out. And then the oil filter is, boom, right there. So everything's easy access on these Silverados. And then as far as the front diff goes, you've got a drain plug that's right here. Like I said, it's a little nasty. And then the fill plug is right there. Obviously, it's got a seal leaking on this one right here. We'll note that on the paperwork for this so that he can know that it's got a little small leak going onto it. It's nothing too serious. It's just something that happens over time. And then as far as the rear goes, take you back here to the rear. There should be a simple, we're gonna suck the fluid out through the fill hole right there. So we'll get a little tube to go in there, suck all the fluid out and then we'll fill it back up. Probably spray a little bit of cleaner in there as well to just kind of clean up a little bit. And then on the transfer case, it's the same thing. You got a drain plug right there, fill plug right there. And this is just regular ATF fluid that goes into here with an additive. So, I want to get some of this done and I'll bring you guys back when I get it. Alright, I got you guys back. Sorry about the noise. This is a place of business, by the way, you guys. So, the front diff's done. Alright, got it drained and filled. Now, a little tip for everybody when you, do the, when you do your oil filter. The gasket on the bottom, the rubber O-ring, if you take a little bit of the oil right here, dab your finger in it, and just kind of go around the new seal. It helps for a better, tighter seal when you go to go put that on. So when we take our old oil filter off, like I'm about to do right now. Oh man, I'm about to get oil all over myself and it's hot. So when we go to go take our old oil filter off, make sure we got the right one. This is a 160. This is a 160 as well. So when we go to go put our new one on, make sure that there's no rubber gasket up there, no rubber gasket. All right, so we can go ahead and put the new filter on, hand tight, of course. All right, I like to just grab a rag. I'll take a nice clean rag, and I'll get me a little bit better grip on it. And there you go. New oil filter's on. I'll spray that down with brake cleaner to clean it up a little bit. But now that the oil change is done, the front diff's done, I'm going to move to the rear diff here right now and I'm going to go ahead and suck it out and fill it back up so I'll bring it back when I get that done and when I start on a transfer case. Alright like I said you guys the way this rear diff works I got a sucker machine over there hooked up to an airline. You just take out this right here it's a 3 8 that goes into it. Put that in there it sucks all the old fluid out spray a little brake cleaner in there as well. Then I got my retarded brother. But yeah, I'm just gonna suck this out right here, add some new fluid to it, and then the rear diff will be done. And then we can get onto the transfer case. All right, so I got the serpentine belt done, you guys. There's a two millimeter wrench you put on the tension right here. All right, and then you just push down on it and it loosens it up. And make sure you follow the belt diagram. All right, now I need to try and get this transmission line off right here. If you can see where it goes. So I'm gonna get that transmission line off right there, get the transmission flush machine hooked up to it, and start to flush. We'll be right back, you guys. All right, you guys, like I said, once again, sorry about all the noise, but another portion of this 100,000 mile is a coolant system clean. So I'm gonna take this bottle right here, and we're gonna put it into the fillet, filler point for the reservoir. And then when we turn the truck on to do the transmission flush and the power steering flush, It'll work itself through the system and clean it out, and then we can go outside and dump all the old fluid out, 
put a water hose through it, make sure it's nice and clean. And then we can put the super cool in it, which is the additive to help make sure it stays cold. Like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and try and get this transmission line off. I can't really record while I do it because it's a small spot and I have ginormous big boy hands. So this is gonna be a little pain in the ass. So I'll bring you back after I get everything hooked up and everything else, but I'm gonna go ahead and put this into the, into the, right, we'll go ahead and put that in there and then we'll run it for a little while. All right, you guys, so I got the lines hooked up. I've got one there, one line coming off here, going to the transmission flush machine. The way it works is new old fluid goes through the machine, goes into a bladder system, which is in here. That bladder system pushes new fluid in through the system through the line. So basically what it's doing is it's taking old fluid and pushing new fluid back into it. Um, my brother can kind of explain it a little bit better than I can, though. That's, uh, that's something we're right, right now. We take, see your, uh, your, your silver piece rising up in there? Right there, that little bullet in there? Yep. When that rises to the top, you make sure you take this lever here, mm -hmm. uh, change it over to bypass, shut the truck off. Once you get the truck shut off, you change it to the pressure release. Okay. Then on the lines. All right, so we're going to do it to... Once that pops up, go to bypass, recharge. Hey, go, 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 so go to bypass, we'll shut the truck off. You see how the fluid's cleared up in here? It's yeah. not black anymore. All right, so we'll... All right, so go shut the truck off. Shut the truck off right now, and then we'll get the lines unhooked. So I'll bring all right, it back. All right, you guys, so I didn't show you everything that was going on, because like I said, this is my job now, so like, I got to be kind of quick with the videos. So these ain't going to be very long videos, but that right there is a brake flush machine. The way that it works is you suck out the fluid by putting an air hose to that, and then it sucks through this part right here and you suck it out through the reservoir and then and then you fill the reservoir up with new fluid and then this right here is filled up with brand new brake fluid. All right, the way it works is you go to each corner of the wheel and you break open, open. the uh, all the bleeders and then you go from back right, which is the farthest away, then back left and then front right and then front left. And you go in that order and this, this right here has a dummy line for you. So you suck out the reservoir one more time. All right, and then you go wheel one, wheel two, wheel three, wheel four. Right, and then you're done. And then you make, top off all the fluids and there's brake flush. Transmission flush, we walked you through how that one works. Power steering flush, which is one of the ones that I did earlier. The way that it works is there's a can of cleaner that you have to suck out all the old fluid with this. The way this works is just a dual system. It has a new end used. If you look at it. Uh, see how it says new end used? It's kind of hard to tell, but that lever determines which one of these sucks out. And then this one right here is what gets the pressure to it to allow it to suck out. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll suck the fluid out of the out of the actual reservoir, fill it up with the cleaner, run it through the system for about 10-15 minutes, turning the wheel back and forth nice and steady and slowly, and then we'll suck suck everything out, fill it with new fluid, turn it back and forth so it pushes the new fluid in and push new old fluid back on top. Suck the old fluid out, put new fluid in, and then you just continue the process until the fluid looks nice and clean, and then you top it off and you're done. Um, the last thing that I did was a coolant flush. The way the coolant flush works is a two-part system. Like I said, you put the cleaner in and then you release all the fluid out of the bottom of the radiator. All right, and then you put a, a water hose into the reservoir and you just wait until it's nice and clean water that comes out. Once it's nice and clean, let it completely drain out, plug it back up, put the, put the bottom hose back on and put a fresh 50-50. I like using 80-20, which is 80% radiator fluid, 20% water. 50-50 is 50% radiator fluid, 50% water. And you just top the system off and then we have a super cool additive that goes on top and then like i said the last thing i did but yeah anyways i did a tire rotation on this as well so we got tires rotated on it fluids are all changed and topped off and i did a serpentine belt on it as well that's all done so like i said this is a hundred thousand mile tune-up you guys the only thing i didn't do was spark plugs and wires but he already got that done on the previous date so job done all right, you guys, so the only thing that I have left to do right now is test drive it. And I'm going to do that right now. We're going to make sure it shifts good. Everything's okay with it. So I'm going to take you along for a drive. We do a little quick speed up because it's going to be a pretty decent drive. So let's go for a drive, y'all. Remember, I'm just making sure that the transmission still shifts good after doing a full service on it. So... Make sure that it shifts through all the gears nice and smoothly and everything, and that there's no issues with it. Let me roll the window up so y'all can hear me. But yeah, you guys, uh, I, got, I, got, I got very lucky to get this job back and everything. 
you know, I, I love and enjoy working on cars, and the fact that he's going to let me record every now and then is just awesome. So, that's good. But, uh, like I said, we're going to test drive this real quick, and then as soon as we get back, we'll double check the transmission fluid in it just to make sure it's good and topped off. Not going on a very far trip. We're just going around a block real quick, which is probably about two, three miles at the most. Like I said, our turn's already coming up, so... supercharger oh yeah she's shifting good all right like I said I'll just go back and double check all the fluids I'm not gonna do that on camera you guys cuz I got a lot of work I got to get going on I'm only gonna do one one to two episodes a week so that means I'm only gonna record a decent sized small job so I hope y'all liked the video. Don't forget that if you like what you see, hit that like button. Also, if you're new here and this is your first time, go ahead hit that subscribe button, man. Check out all the other videos that I got going on. You know, this this garage vlogs isn't the only thing that I do. I have a build series on my Blazer that I'm doing, which hopefully we can get back to doing that here soon on the weekends maybe. So look forward to that. And also don't forget that we got a regular thing called Send It Sunday every Sunday between 1 p.m. and 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So look forward to that. And then also, I got a Discord, y'all, so make sure y'all check the description for that Discord. But that's going to be it for me, you guys. I'm going to go ahead and pull back into the shop. Thanks for watching.